no iron amongst thieves. You must cross the line, you must die. Hear that? How come the frog stopped? How come the frog stopped, you guys? I thought they were going earlier. That sound keeps on coming back here.
What? What's going on out here? You... Somebody was just in our house. I think we should call the police. What are you talking about? Somebody was just in our house. I fucking swear to God. I, I, I heard that there was a... There was a... I could tell somebody was outside. I could tell somebody was outside. Are they still out there? No, 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 no. That's the neighbor. That's the neighbor. That's not... Oh, hey. We didn't look in the back room. So. Those clothes look... Is that a dress? That's disgusting. <coughs> Was that you? Okay. Wait, the backyard... There's nothing. You wanna go back? I saw a bath. Yeah. Sounds like it's on the other side. What? No, where we first came in. Yeah, it's back there. Turn the light on. Turn the corner. What the fuck is that? Oh, shit! We're crazy actors! We're crazy actors! These are the singles. Hello? Oh my god! Oh! 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 Because if anyone has more of a chance of seeing an extraterrestrial, it's going to be astronauts who venture into space. It is that if an astronaut witnesses a UFO or an extraterrestrial being, they cannot report this to the press. But that hasn't stopped them, because over the years, many astronauts have told of encounters with aliens. In June 1965, when astronauts Ed White and James McDivitt were passing over Hawaii in a Gemini spacecraft, they say they witnessed a strange-looking metallic object with long arms sticking from it. McDivitt took pictures, but he said that it did not capture what he could see properly due to the glare and the grubby window. The rumor is that he also took a video, but this has never been released. McDivitt has said that some UFO promoters did exaggerate the story, but debunkers did also underestimate it. Another sighting by astronauts happened in December of the same year. Gemini astronauts James Lovell and Frank Borman saw an unidentified spacecraft some distance from their capsule. The Gemini Control Center told him that he was seeing the final stage of their own booster rocket, but Frank confirmed that he could see the booster rocket and the unidentified object was something completely different, but what exactly it was is a mystery. Now, whether you believe Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong's moon landing was a hoax or not, they both apparently reported that aliens have a base on the moon and were told to get off and stay off. According to unconfirmed reports, both Neil and Buzz saw UFOs shortly after landing on the moon on the 21st of July 1969. According to former NASA employee Otto Binder, unnamed radio hams with their own VHF receiving facilities that bypassed NASA's broadcasting outlet picked up the following exchanges. What was it? What the hell was it? That's all I want to know. What's there? These babies are huge, sir, enormous. Oh my god, you wouldn't believe it. I'm telling you there are other spacecraft out there, lined up on the far side of the crater edge. They're on the moon watching us. The former naval officer and Russian UFO researcher, Neil Armstrong relayed the message to Mission Control that two large, mysterious objects were watching them after having landed. 
but the message was censored and never heard by the watching public. It comes from Dr. Edgar Mitchell. He was part of the Apollo 14 space mission in 1971. The lunar mission and he spent 33 hours on the moon. Dr. Mitchell said that he was aware of several UFO visits during his career, but each one had been covered up. He said that workers at the space agency had described aliens as little people who look strange to us. Dr. Mitchell stated that their technology is far more sophisticated than ours, and if they were hostile, we would be gone by now. He is also told that the believed Roswell alien crash of 1947 was real, and the reason it was covered up was because the US did not want the Soviet to know of the craft's technology, and they did not know if the apparent alien being was hostile or not. Apparently, officials from NASA have commented on Dr. Mitchell's statements by saying, NASA does not track UFOs and is not involved in any sort of cover-up about alien life on this planet or anywhere in the universe. Dr. Mitchell is a great American, but we do not share his opinions on this issue. But Edgar continues to claim that aliens and alien craft are real and is positive that we are being watched right now. Another thing pe people more recently have pointed out is the International Space Station's HD live feed is often cut when objects are seen in space. In 2014, NASA allegedly cut the live feed coming from the Earth viewing cameras mounted on the space station just when a mysterious UFO appeared to hover over the Earth. UFO watchers claim that the drop off in the live feeds as soon as a UFO comes into view is an obvious and deliberate attempt to hide what they believe are regular sightings of alien spacecraft observing Earth. Some say this is the moon or a lens flare and others believe it's an alien craft. Also, UFO watcher Toby Lund apparently spotted a UFO on the live stream outside the space station before the stream was interrupted for around 15 seconds. Needless to say, it's certainly strange that NASA cut the video when things like this happen. Maybe it's just a coincidence due to them experiencing technical difficulties, or maybe they know something that we don't. believe in the UFO or alien photos and videos going around, there are many that say, due to the sheer magnitude of the universe, it's impossible for there not to be another life form. To understand why people say alien life must be out there, you must first realize how big the universe is. It's believed that the diameter of the observable universe is around 28 billion parsecs, which is around 93 billion light years. Now a single light year is just under 6 trillion miles, which is a ridiculous number. So 6 trillion times 93 billion. And don't forget, that is just what we can observe. And it's not that we don't have the technology to observe any further, it's just that life from other objects hasn't had enough time to reach Earth since the beginning of the cosmological expansion. And with all that, astronomers at the University of Auckland have said that it's believed there are around 50 sextillion planets in the observable universe. Now I will leave you to decide whether you think that only one out of those 50 sextillion planets can harbor any form of life. Some believe that civilizations are currently existing on Earth-like planets right alongside us and others believe we could even be the bacteria of another life form. Add all of that with the possibility of infinite or multi-dimensions and you take things to a whole nother level. Whether you believe in any of those theories or not, there is absolutely no denying that the universe is incredible and has left us with many unanswered questions. If I there's so many things I think up here.
Wo ist Schimmel? Da vorne! Rolf, Rolf! Da vorne! Wow! Wow. Can you come out of the grass? No. Louis, behind the grass. Behind you. Look, look, look. Holy shit. Quick. Get it, get it, get it. Give me the, give me the, give me the camera. Give me the camera. Holy. Holy fuck. How the fuck did we get here, bud? Because we walked here, bro. Gotta walk in. Hi, come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can you come out of the grass? 